We are back in the 207 kitchen at Omain Studios with Chef Paolo Leboa. And today we're Enjoy going to bake pesto. what I think is your one of your specialties because si, si. about 10 years ago, your pesto was named best in the world. Yes, senora. In I've Genova. been dying to, yeah. <laughs> to see how you do this. So we did uh, this competition differently, you know, in a blender, in a mortar, like oh. I usually we do. Okay. In a, uh, is in a very traditional way. But, uh, in, you know, in a home, home, and uh, right. for the rest and also for many people, we use blender, blender or, or, or food, or processor. food processor. Okay. I prefer to use one blender or food processor. It's better to me with a four knife so the basil oh, okay. doesn't bruise too much. Oh, okay. But now we're going to start the, the process. So we have uh, here garlic. Yeah. Uh, then and I'm going to peel. Talk a little bit about yeah. how fresh the basil is, what types of basil you Sister. use. So the, the basil is uh, super fresh. It's from Olivia Garden. Okay. They do an amazing job. They do this basil called the sweet Genovese basil Should I pesto. Turn that down, maybe? Si, grazie. Okay, great. Perfetto. And uh, they do an amazing job. It's very tender, but very uh, the scent is amazing. It's just uh, what we use in Genova. It's okay. a traditional Genovese and basil. And a lot of us can grow our basil in the yeah. summertime and yeah, hang on to it into the fall. Of course. Okay. So I use here you for make uh, the, I talking about the Genovese pesto. You use uh, all extra virgin olive oil from Liguria. Okay. Then uh, you can find here in some store okay. around. Or just a pure oil. It's better. You don't want to go really over. good quality olive yes. oil. Yes. You don't okay. want to go over the flavor of the basil with the oil. And I notice that you're not somebody who measures. I don't measure nothing. <laughs> I, I don't go measure. By. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't. I'm gonna give you the. Sorry. I'm gonna give you the recipe, but right, of course, we're gonna have gonna the recipe for you on our so website. So very important. The pine nuts, the Mediterranean, they know from China. Yes. Oh, okay. So the flavor is different. Oh, okay. So what I'm gonna do here now? I'm gonna do a just a little almost a cream with this uh, pine nuts oil and garlic. Okay. I'm sorry for the noise. That's, you know that's interesting. I. I make pesto all the time, and you I see. just put everything in together. But this, you are doing it. Yeah, this help a little bit the uh, the color stay and not oh, oxidize okay. too much. And you just put your basil in a little bit of water to keep oh. it fresh. Keep it fresh. Also, you see, I uh, I not over dry, so I don't oh, bruise okay. the basil. Okay. And actually, I'm going to use a little bit of the water mm. then it stay on the leaf okay. to emulsify with the with oil. everything else. Right, here and we everything go. Else. Oh, a little bit of salt? Sea salt, always. Oh, my goodness. This smell, the garlic already just smells so great. And we've also got a pot of soup going on, which we're going to talk about si. in just a minute. So everything together is... So I, I pulse a little bit, so... Okay. So the other thing I want... In the end, you see that the color? The um, and the texture yeah. of that is creamy, really creamy. It's a creamy. But also, when you do in the mortar, of course, uh, you see some uh, little piece of the basil because the mortar it, it can't be it's not so as, smooth not like, like a that. Food that you know. Again, but uh, uh, now, what kind of cheese did you just put this, in? Uh, the, in? The basil paste in Genova, Genovese. Right. We use two kinds of cheese. Okay. One is DOP Sardo from Sardinia. Okay. It's a lightly smoked, and one is Parmigiano Reggiano, 24 months. So the, mm. uh, the ratio is a little less pecorino, a little more parmigiano, because parmigiano is sweeter, pecorino is very sharp, kind of. Now, you're finishing up on the pesto. I, while you're si. doing that, can you tell me what we have over here yes. in our pot? Yeah, in the pot there is a soup that we call minestrone. It's made with all the uh, vegetables from the farm. Mm. And uh, what is available from the season, you can use whatever. For example, in this case, I use a chard, eggplant, parsnip, Celery root, mm. cabbage, the dandelion, the uh, first butternut squash, eggplant, I already said, I think, and potato, potatoes. and carrots. And you said you don't even use a, a stock. No stock. This is just all from Just vegetables. all from the vegetables. Yeah. You, you so use a, a touch of extra virgin olive oil like uh, usually we do. Can I speak? Please, do a little signora, bit? grazie. You're trusting me to do this. For sure. You haven't worked with me in the kitchen before. <laughs> Okay, so qua. this is our minestrone, and we're going yes, to it's very minestrone. Creamy. Yeah, minestrone. We're going to have um, the recipe for this as well. Even though we didn't show you how to prepare it, you'll yeah. be able to do that at home. 
Yeah. Uh, so usually yeah. in uh, this is very Genovese things. Usually in Genoa, yeah, sorry. There we go. In Genova, we do a touch of the pesto mm. like this on the middle. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful and smells so good. And as always, if you'd like to try this at home from the world champion pesto maker, it's easy. You see, you? It's it not, is easy. It's not well, like you you like to do very few ingredients and just make all the flavors sing. Yeah, I, I, I love on. that. Uh, the it. recipe will be on our website. And again, this has been our pesto and minestrone with Chef Paolo Laboa. And we will be right back. Grazie, signora. Thank you very much. Thank you.